Hi there, I'm Gio with ShaveNation.com. Today I'll be performing a demo of a feather no sharpen, non-folding Japanese style razor. And check out my website, ShaveNation.com, where you can purchase uh, all the items shown in this video and many other fine shaving items. I'd be happy to earn your business. So uh, what we've been doing in the Midwest in the past few days is this. <laughs> and <laughs> we've been dealing with this, but we're pretty much out of it now. It's... Uh, we had 20 inches, the largest storm in the since we've been recording storms. It's the third largest storm. So you can see what we've been doing. We had a little fun too, and then we went inside for a nice shave. This is a Parker Chrome brush. It's a new brush, uh, first time I'm using it, so I'll break it in, so to speak. And what that entails is you can just get some shampoo. A scented shampoo is good, any style. A badger is just natural hair, like your own, similar to your own. So you just shampoo it in and uh, just lather it up like you would your own hair. And and then just rinse it out in the sink. Uh, rinse it with warm water and then followed by cool water. And then just fluff it up a bit and let it dry in the open air. Never store your brushes in a cabinet, medicine cabinet, anything like that. Just leave them in the open air and let them dry. Here I'm applying some water to my face, hot water. I've filled the sink with uh, hot water and I'm uh, just hydrating my face prior to the shave. And I like to also take the brush and apply some hot water throughout just to thoroughly hydrate. Ideally, uh, you'd like to take a shower before you start and warm your whiskers. And here I'm, uh, Cream Du Jour is the Sandalwood Shaving Cream by Taylor of Old Bond Street. So I just grab the brush and I swirl it around and saturate the tips a bit. like so and pick up the bowl and uh, start swirling and just start mixing it up it'll take about a minute or two of this swirling and you'll have a nice thick lather you'll see I'm just doing this in real time so you can see how long it actually takes and if you find that it might uh, look a tad dry you can just uh, pick up a couple of droplets of water and drop them into the bowl and also, uh, I like to turn the bowl upside down and the brush upside down like so. That way you're thoroughly loading that brush with lather and it infiltrates all the bristles of the brush and uh, just allows you to make a, a thicker and a quicker lather. And as you see, as the shaving cream works its way to the top of the bowl around the rim, I just uh, scoop it around like that and push it down towards the bottom and just keep mixing. And then before you know it, you'll have a, just a perfect lather mixed up. Like so. And when you start, uh, when you see all these peaks on the end of the brush, and there's a nice, there's a nice uh, thick amount of lather, more than enough. There's the peaks on the brush that I spoke about. Okay, so we'll set the bowl down. There's me getting excited, excited prior to my shave, which is SOP, Standard Operating Procedure. And uh, just start applying it and working my way around. And you just want to thoroughly coat your whiskers, and you want it so that there's no skin showing through. Uh, you want that snowman face where everything is just white with uh, everything covered, and that'll provide a excellent cushion and lubricating ability or factor for that straight razor to glide across. And that protects your skin from the blade. Here I'll show you that you can take two fingers and uh, press down on the bristles of the brush and then direct that shaving cream underneath your nose. And then you can just properly protect that area without filling your nostrils with shaving cream. And here I paint the last bit just to make sure there's no clumps no bumps and then uh, set the, here I call this uh, this is my trademark this is uh, clearing the runways so that you don't have one sideburn winding up a half an inch lower than the other so I just clean the area I'll show you how to disassemble this you just squeeze the the top of the spine and you pull and it comes apart it's an ingenious design if you ask me it's just fantastic and it loads back in the same way. Just squeeze it, pull it apart, and then slide it right back in and it locks in place. Nothing to it. 
There's the spine where you can see I squeeze it and that opens up the front compartment where you can load the blade. It just creates a little gap in the front and you can slide the blade right in there. When you handle the blade, just be cautious with the sharp end. Squeeze the spine, drop the blade in. That's it, you're good to go. And that's the same process with the uh, folding razor as well. Now when you grip this, uh, dry your hands thoroughly. And uh, the analogy that I like to think of when I'm shaving with this razor is uh, my fingertips act as mini shock absorbers or springs. And I like to hold it with my fingertips like this. And that way my fingertips will absorb any impact or uh, anything as I'm gliding down my face. And if I feel it's starting to cut or dig, I just stop and back off a little bit. And uh, I'm using a very light touch, working my way down here. And as I said, uh, just let the fingertips hold the edge, the handle of the blade of the uh, razor. And very gently, just work your way down, like so. And you might even say, oh, he goes over the same area several times. Well, I do. That's because I'm not pressing hard. I'm just doing it very gently. Here I stretch the skin to work my way around the jawline. As you can see, rather than trying to shave around the jawline, pull up on your skin, and here you're just shaving straight down, and when you release it, you're already below the jawline, so you don't have to navigate around it. Now I'll switch from my right to my left. I generally do the right side of my face with the right hand, the left side with the left hand. And just taking short strokes, cutting that sideburn, and working my way down. Here I'll stretch the skin a bit. And just short strokes because I do have a four or five day growth. It's not like I can perform the old Gillette slide and go three or four inches at a time. So, uh, you know, that's the reason for just taking short strokes. And here I'm stretching the skin and you'll see I work my way down the jawline in this fashion. Then when I release the skin, you'll notice that I just, I'm already below the jawline. So I don't have to worry about navigating my way down. And then I'll go back to the right hand for the right side of my chin and clear out that area. Again, with the short strokes and the gentle touch, I can't emphasize that enough. You just want to uh, very lightly with this razor. And you need to be careful when you start up by your lip, where your lip meets your skin uh, in that territory. Just need to... Uh, Exercise a little extra caution there when you're working your way down. Again, as, as long as you use a light touch, you'll be fine with it. Many people see the Japanese razor and they get intimidated by it, but uh, it's not that difficult. And after a while, your muscle memory will kick in and you'll get the hang of it. And it'll be more or less a second nature type thing. You won't have to think too much about it. But I do recommend concentrating, uh, especially the first several times. That's why this takes a little bit longer because uh, it requires a little more concentration and skill, which is what's fun about it. Here I'm shaving around the cleft. I have a cleft in my chin, so it's just a little difficult to get through that area. And I always pay it a little extra attention. And uh, here's the upper lip I mentioned. Just be careful in that area. Now I'm just working my way uh, across my upper lip area from top to bottom. And just be careful with the blade when you come in underneath your nose that uh, you don't clip the end of your nose or hit the bottom of your nose with the blade and just come in directly under it and just kind of slide your way downwards. Again, I'm using the left hand on the left side of my upper lip area. and just working my way down in that fashion. A little touch up on the lower lip area. Now on my neck, I'll go against the grain and you'll see that uh, it's kind of a scything motion where an inverted U, I just kind of uh, work my way up that way. And here I do take a bit of longer strokes working my way up from the bottom of my neck towards my chin. 
And now I'm using the right hand on the left side of my neck. That's more comfortable for me. If you find that, uh, you know, another way suits you better, that's, that's perfect. You know, just uh, whatever is good for you, if it works, that's what's important. And you can see the blade is so sharp, there's no problem whatsoever removing the whiskers. Now I'll switch to the left hand for the right side of my neck and work my way upwards from the bottom up towards the chin. All the way back into the corner. Just making sure I don't miss any any areas back by my ear. So now I'll set the razor down and just perform a slight rinse. And uh, you don't need to remove all the cream. Like I said, you'll just be applying some more. Dry your fingers. So you have a good grip on the on the handle of the straight razor. And pick up your bowl and your brush and here you go. Start applying again. And you'll notice that the shaving cream will go on much easier this time because you've already removed the heavy beard growth that you had prior to your first pass of shaving. So you'll swirl, circular motion, uh, straight up and down against the grain. And here I just zip through the uh, clearing the runways and just cleaning off, trimming it out. And I'll go across the grain on this pass, as you can see. What I like to do is uh, inflate my cheek a bit. I'll grow, I'll just blow a little air into my cheek and then uh, that'll puff it out just where it's much easier to glide that blade across. If your cheek is sinking inward a bit, it's a little more difficult to glide the blade across it. So you can see that I go across now, I'm switching from the right to the left for the left side of my cheek. And starting towards the nose, working my way back towards the ear. Like so. And you can see at this point that it's a baby smooth shave. There's no, there's no whisker growth left and uh, these blades are so sharp that there's no problem winding up with just an excellent shave. And here I work my way across the, the chin area. I go at it on an angle or obliquely on this second pass. And the best thing about these razors is the fact that, uh, you know, you can see all my razors in the background. I have a lot of straight razors, but they all require honing and strapping, and it does require a lot of maintenance, and you're spending money on stones, uh, sharpening stones, water stones of different grits and whatnot and your straps, etc. So uh, you don't have any of that involved with this uh, type of a razor. As you just buy the blades and uh, once they get dull after four or five or six shaves, you can toss that away and uh, just replace it with a new one and you're good to go. Here I'm just working on the cleft area and I use the point. As you can see, I use the point and just go in there and clean it a bit. And here, because uh, I'm taking a while shaving, uh, some of my shaving cream has dissipated, but it's no big deal. Just uh, apply a little bit more and uh, just carry on with the shaving. And here I go obliquely a bit under the nose across the upper lip area. Right hand on the right side of the upper lip. And I switch to the left hand for the left side of the upper lip area. Very smooth, very nice. Okay, now I'm going to stretch and just work my way again down past that jawline by stretching the skin instead of trying to navigate my way around it. And then I'll just release and I'm already below. And I'll pick that up later on. Same thing on the left side. Stretch the skin, get below that jawline.
Now again, uh, with the upward stroke on the neck, right hand holding the razor, working my way up the left side of my neck from the bottom towards the chin. And uh, while you're performing and learning how to perform this type of a shave, which definitely requires more skill and more concentration, which in my opinion is what's good about it, uh, you will probably nick yourself a few times. You know, that's part of the learning curve. So if you get a couple of little nicks, don't be discouraged. You know, that all, it's just part of learning. It's not a, not a big deal. Here you can see I'm working my way all the way back into that corner and just cleaning up the final bit. And uh, you can see what a beautiful, nice, baby smooth shave I, I've uh, completed here. I always like to pay a little extra attention to the cleft area. So I just apply a little more shaving cream with the badger brush and go back in there and just uh, go over that area with the tip a little bit more and make sure that it's thoroughly cleaned out. Nice and smooth. So now just a quick rinse with warm water and then cold water and then grab the alum block which uh, run that under the cold water and alum is a, just a natural mineral it's an astringent uh, you can feel a little stinging as you're doing this, especially if you shaved an area a little too closely. So uh, after that, I'll let that sit and then rinse it with cold water. I'll let the alum sit for about a minute while I put everything away and then rinse with cold water. And here I'll show you how to unload the blade, disassemble, or just take it out remove it. You just squeeze the spine, it pops right out. Squeeze the spine and pull the blade keeper and it comes apart. Then I like to grab a towel and just thoroughly clean all bits of my razor. Any razor I do this, I don't leave the blade in it. Uh, you know, there's a possibility it could rust eventually, but I just don't like all the uh, shaving cream residue that could possibly build up in there. So I like to clean it thoroughly and I leave it disassembled and I let it dry in the open air. Again, I don't store the razors inside of the cabinet. And this is one of my favorite products this is the Prorasso Alcohol Free Aftershave Balm. And you can see I poured a little too much. You can just scoop it back into the jar. Uh, this you can't do with the tube. So I'm thankful for that. And just apply this directly to my damp face and try to lock in some of that moisture. And then I will put the cap back on my shaving cream and put that away. And then my brush. I like to dry my brush. I shake all the water out of it. And then I take the towel and I just work with the bristles, never against the bris bristles. And I just uh, will fluff it and rub it against the towel just to dry it up a bit. And, uh, and then I'll set it off to the side. Again, never in a medicine cabinet, always letting it dry in the open air, as I spoke about before. I clean the handle of it, get that chrome nice and shiny, and then set it down on the side. And here I have a little weeper. Every once in a while, you know, even uh, happens to the best of them. What can I say? You may go over a pimple or a little a bump that you might have. So I wet my finger and I just clean it off. And then this is my favorite. This is a Parasso Nick Sealing Gel. This stuff works like magic. Magic. You just It's a clear gel. You put it on your finger, dab it on the affected area, and uh, that's it. Just uh, dab it on there, and it doesn't uh, leave any white spot. It dries clear. You're not leaving your bathroom with toilet paper stuck to your face or those nasty, uh, irritating-looking uh, white marks from a styptic pencil. It just dries clear, and there you go. It's gone. Like magic. Voila. <laughs> and I like to hang everything, uh, hang my brush upside down so that it dries thoroughly, and uh, gravity helps uh, the water fall out of it instead of into it. And that's it. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away. Uh, please visit my website, shavenation.com. Got a lot of products, and I'm adding more just about every day, and I greatly appreciate the chance to earn your business. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great shave. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Take care.